are listening to the Power Play Hockey Talk Radio here on KCFS 94.5 FM. We are here with Miss Stacy Russell, a Washington Capitals fan. How are you doing today, Stacy? I'm doing really great. How are you doing? You know, I'm doing well. Stacy, how are you? Is that Chuck? This is Chuck. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. It's been years. I know, and thank you so much for sending me everything about Dakota. I love what you write, Dakota. You're a great writer, and, and I'm really enjoying it and, and uh, love following because I still love to keep up with uh, the wild. I miss my North Stars, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but I yep. love the wild and even have uh, Josh Harding on my fantasy you know, hockey team. He's oh, she's a goalies, keeper, so. fantasy hockey, yes. <laughs> You're a woman after my own heart. <laughs> Oh, well, it's been neat to see on Facebook all the pictures you've been showing of yourself at the, at the, the Capitals games, and, uh, and you even got a picture with one of the gentlemen. Who is it that you got a picture with recently? Oh, many of them. I just posted the one of Carl Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because we go to the practices, and of course, you know, you're, you're right there at the rink, and they come over, and, it, and, it's, and it's really nice to talk with all of them. Like Tom Wilson, he, he's my new favorite cap because he's just so, so happy to be here and up in the big leagues, and he's just, you know, he just sits and talks with everybody over and over. So when he got that goal, you know, the other night, we were just, we were so happy for him. He's just such a good guy. You know, they all are good guys. They really are. Yeah, Uh you know, uh, Wilson definitely seems like that. Um, You know, but obviously he wasn't the top pick in the 2012 draft there for the Washington Capitals. They selected uh, Philippe Forsberg. What was it? uh, What did he fall to? Was it 12th overall? Yeah, I think 10th or 12th, I don't remember. Yeah, uh, Yeah. uh, either way, I mean, there were some that that had him projected as the first overall pick. Um, in, In fact, when you look at that draft, it's hard to... To find a clear, I mean, there really hasn't been a guy like, I mean, obviously you have your Patrick Keynes, you have your John Tavares, right. you have your Sidney Crosby, Steven Stamkos, but so far from, you know, uh, uh, let's say, you know, the 2011 draft on, there hasn't been really a clear, a, a guy that, that has made you say, oh yes, he deserved to go first overall, except for maybe, you know, this year's Nathan McKinnon. Personally, I was a Seth Jones guy. But well, it's interesting because I like both those guys. In fact, I had Nathan on my league for a while, mm-hmm. then then traded them out, and I like Seth Jones also. But um, yeah, I, I agree with you that I don't think there's been an overall wow. Well, well you know. yeah, um, you know, I actually saw Seth Jones play uh, here at the uh, Sioux Falls Arena a ah. couple seasons back, and uh, that was the year before. Uh, his, his draft eligible year. This this would have been uh, back, uh, what? It, I think it's the, two years ago. Well, it? It, it would have been the 2012 um, draft eligible mm-hmm. guys. Right. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I'll tell you what, that was, <laughs> he stood out to me, just a big kid. And uh, the way he played, I mean, he, he <laughs> he's a franchise defenseman. And mm-hmm. uh, I really think the uh, Colorado Avalanche uh, missed out on him. There's no doubt McKinnon's a very special player, mm-hmm. but I think they might have whiffed on that one. Yeah. Um, ho- however, we're not we're not talking about the Avalanche. We're talking about the Capitals here. Bad. You know, it's it's been neat, Stacy, to see Ovi hit his stride again. You know, last year he finished strong and uh, doing good this year again, and it, it's great to see him so solid. It really is, and, and there was a lot of questions. You know, there was a lot of talk here, um, especially last couple of years, you know, get rid of him, he's too arrogant, his ego's too big. Mm. You know, we're going through a lot of coaches, and the rumors were because, you know, oh, we didn't get along with them, and and you know, it, it was just really hard to see, you know, all the young bugs, Greeny, and, and all those guys just kind of kind of fall apart, and you wonder, you know, when you really look at the guys individually, there's so much talent on this mm-hmm. team, you know, why do we not have that cup? Right. You know, the, the flags are raised, and it's never a Stanley Cup. But um, it's nice to have, um, you know, Adam Oates in and, and maybe get some consistency. And I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, he actually went over to Russia this summer mm-hmm. to see where Ovi lived, to see what his wife was over there, to spend some time with him, um, also to review some game strategies, but really get to know him as a person. Sure. And Ovi had said that really made a great deal of difference to him because he, he really took an interest in him as a person and, and not just a player yeah. on the team. Wow. And uh, that really solidified their relationship and I also think too with you know Obi being uh, you know the face of Sochi Olympics uh, you know he's really putting in some really 
you know, strong, uh, you know, he's just got a real strong, different character this year, and, and everybody seems to feel it, even even the guys on the team are saying, you know, he's putting in much more of a leadership, and whether that's maturity and, and whatever in the league, and these guys are now becoming, you know, the old men, and we've got our young bloods like, you know, Wilson and, and uh, Schmidt and Urbaum and those guys coming up, you know, I don't know what it is, but it seems like they're just, you know, finally starting to gel, and like I said, all, all the the articles here about them are just, uh, you know, you just see them coming together as a team and, 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 you know, hoping they'll continue to, you know, to progress that way and take home the cup this year. You bet. <laughs> so, so what's the story with Evgeny Kuznetsov? I'm sorry, what's, I didn't hear you. Uh, what's the story with Evgeny Kuznetsov? Uh, he was, what, their top pick in the 2010 draft, and he has yet to, to come over from Russia to play and, uh, in fact, uh, he's arguably um, w- one of the best players playing in the world today, I mean, outside the NHL. I don't know that. I'll just be honest with you. I don't know. I, uh, that's, that's one of those things. And, and that's why Russian players are falling in the draft. Very mm-hmm. few. I mean, and that's why Mikhail Grigorenko didn't go. Um, <laughs> you know, he, he fell all the way, I think, I think to 12th because then they, they took uh, with the – 14th overall pick the Sabres also took uh, Grigorenko, or not Grigorenko, um, um, uh, Jurgensen, Semgis Jurgensen's from the USHL here. But uh, yeah, I, Grigorenko just, just uh, he was touted as, as one of the top picks in that uh, 2012 draft, and, and he fell all the way to 12th. Um, but there is that reluctance to draft those Russian players because, let's face it, there's a lot of money to be had playing for the hometown team in sure. Russia, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and I think uh, my daughter actually studied over in Prague last semester, and of course uh, she went to all the games there. It was nice for her with the lockout here. She was seeing all the guys wow. over in Europe playing. Um, but she did say the KHL League is, is really, it, they play a different hockey game over there. And um, she said it's much more of a cerebral game hmm. than it is here. Sure. Um, and um, and she was wondering, you know, uh, that, and she said it's a different community also. Mm-hmm. And and when I asked her about that, she said in in just, uh, of, of course, every time you go into there, it, it's hockey is the thing, not like you know the states here and mm-hmm. you know, right. um, and, and the notoriety, things of this sort. So when somebody's walking down the street and they're a hockey player. There, they are so revered over, and she was wondering if also that celebrity, cele- celebrity status, you know, didn't have something to do with it. Mm-hmm. Certainly, the money. Certainly, you know, it is a big jump. I know when when the Russian guys come over here, Ovi talks to him, and he talked way about his transition and how hard it was okay. coming to America. And I and um, so I don't know. It's a good question. Yeah. So, are you going to the game tonight? Unfortunately, I can't. Oh. Um, we've got tickets. We're fourth row, but um, my husband <laughs> will be going with somebody else, and unfortunately, I'm not able to go tonight. Oh, well, so, <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's too bad. I'm so upset. We, we would gladly take I your tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you tell you what, you just you just pay for the flight, and we'll take them off your hands. You know. <laughs> oh my gosh, no! I I am just so upset. Everybody's telling me. You're not going tonight. I'm like, no, I can't go tonight. Uh, uh, so what do the Capitals have to do to, to beat Minnesota? Not much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> snap. Ouch. See, so I can say that while I'm down here in D.C. and nobody oh, can come after me. <laughs> oh, I just, I just oh, felt slam. that dagger go right to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so elaborate. Go, go into more detail here. <laughs> um, I, I just think they have to continue to play their just game play like game. they're playing. Yeah. I mean, they've yeah. got, they've just got strong lines, and and it's really great to see every line, you know, showing up every night. And um, I think, like I said, they're uh, they're gelling together as a team. They've made you know some little bit of line changes and tweaks, but. Mm-hmm. Um, they're having fun more. I mean, yeah. you can you can see it at the practices. They're uh, you can just see it. I just think they need to just continue their focus and have fun and and get over. Just scoring the first period would be nice, but we'll <laughs> take all the goals in the second. Um, 
I don't never know what's happening in that first period with them, but I, um, you don't have to worry. Minnesota's got a you know the second period nap, so you're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we kind of kind of took a siesta there, but uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, while we have you on the line too, of course, there's that big brawl against the game of uh, you know against Philly, and yeah. uh, which was just ridiculous. I mean, it was awful. Emery just uh, pounding Holtby for for no reason. You know, yeah. I don't know. What, what did you watch the game? I mean, obviously it was on TV for you were at. You know, I don't think you yes. went to Philly to watch that. But you know, what are your thoughts on that whole situation? Uh, you know, there's a long time rivalry here between the two teams, and, mm-hmm. and you know, as well as Pittsburgh. But um, there's a different rivalry with Pittsburgh. I mean, we just don't like Philly, and mm-hmm. Philly just does not like us. Mm-hmm. I mean, truly, even at the Caps games, which are very controlled, whenever we play Philly, there is some skirmish squir- in the stands, and that it, it's just not heard of in any other game. Mm-hmm. And I think I really think it's their frustration with how poorly they're they're playing we this year, but it's that, just yeah. so uncalled for. And there was a, a, a real lot of discussion here, especially. You know, if somebody's not engaging, I mean, he's just pounding away on Hopi. Yeah. I mean, that, that's just that's just absurd. And there was even some talk about how he had told um, Hopi just um, keep low, and Hopi said, I don't want to fight, don't want any part of it, keep low, keep low. And he was, they were expecting people to come off the bench and protect their goalie and help their goalie, and, and I guess, a ref, somebody called somebody off, but I, I don't know. There's just a, a, a lot of things that came out of there, but mm-hmm. um, you know, and they had had uh, had a, a big thing here um, with the Caps newsletter, and of course, everybody says the same thing. You expect it; it's part of hockey, you know, to have the fights. Don't take it out. But that one was really that's just uncalled for what happened, and I can't right. believe that there wasn't any uh, any fines, nothing coming down on that. Well, I agree. And, and and here's the problem with with why no one came out uh, to defend him is that if you are on the bench at the time of a brawl, mm-hmm. if if you hop the boards to come out there and and protect a teammate, that that's automatically a multi game suspension. You know that. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. You know, yeah. that wasn't aware well, that see, see okay. that that was the thing with the uh, John Scott uh, Phil Kessel incident in the preseason. Uh-huh. Um, David Clarkson, who played for the uh, Devils last year, uh, now playing for the Maple Leafs, he jumped out to uh, defend Kessel there against big six foot eight John Scott, mm-hmm. and uh, that caused him to get a multi game suspension um, because of that incident. So that's that's why I mean you just you just can't afford to do that. And you know it was a line brawl, so all the other guys on the ice were entangled right. with, with other opponents there, but that was just I mean you have to think the officials also responsible for that too because that Absolutely. Th- that was just it was uncalled for and really it was within his power to stop. Absolutely. And he didn't. And uh I'll tell you what Holtby was wronged and I mm-hmm. think I think that's part of the reason why he was not kicked off is because he really didn't throw a punch. He no. t- he took it yeah. because yeah. he played all you know all, all sixty minutes aside from maybe a, a few seconds from a delayed penalty skating off the ice, but um, yeah I mean he he played it all you know whereas Emery was booted and Steve Mason was put back on the ice in his place right but uh, yeah I mean it was it, so, so that that's why <laughs> it's I mean it's so rare for a goalie to get a fight and a shutout you know. It, it, <laughs> Because that shutout doesn't belong to him if mm-hmm. if uh, you know he's kicked out kicked of the game, out, right? Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. But that was just I, I'm sorry, that was not fighting, and I am I am very much um, for fighting in hockey. I believe that it has a place, um, mm-hmm. that that it always has and always will have a place in in hockey because it is how the game is kept clean, and um, you know the enforcers they're they're just. You know they're the big brothers that that love their teammates and are sticking sticking up for them. You know, right? Uh, but right. That, that was just not um, that was assault in its purest form. That's exactly what I was going to say. It was an assault. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Bad. Right. Well, yeah. It just it just wasn't a, a good situation there. But it's in the past, and uh, I'll tell you what, the Capitals and their fans have a lot to look forward to. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, and you guys too. Oh, Stacy, I, I tell you what, it's so good to visit with you. I'm just uh, 
Uh, so glad to, to reconnect with you on Facebook, and that's such a wonderful tool. And uh, uh, It is, and thank you so much for sending me. I'm, I'm glad I took a look at that. I've loved talking with you in Dakota. I love following, uh, you know, everything you do. And, and, Chuck, thanks so much for hooking me up with your son. It's great to, like I said, just follow everything he writes and does. And, uh, you know, good luck to the wild tonight. I, I hope <laughs> my, my Josh Harding blocks about 40 shots, and, but let's, <laughs> you know. Let's uh, one get in so <laughs> I can get my save percentage up and there you uh, go. Oh. <laughs> the capitals go caps. You bet. <laughs> well, I tell you what, anytime you want to call into the show, please feel free to do that. We, we uh, appreciate your hockey expertise. And uh, I tell you what, love your family. Just tell everyone hi for me, your mom and dad and, and everyone else. And uh, just, just you are all are just fantastic people. I'm going to love you guys. So, well, do. Yeah. Thanks, you guys, too. You bet. Okay, take care and uh, have a great day. We'll talk you to you soon, Stacy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs> We're going to take a short break. You're listening to The Power Play Hockey Talk Radio here on KCFS 94.5 FM. Don't go away. 